Good morning, and we come to you from Stone Arch Village, uh, Keene Housing Authority's Stone Arch Village, and it's on Court Street, and we're here today uh, for to the for the Elm City Rotary, and they have, they meet here on a weekly basis, <laughs> and we are here because they are uh, as an organized community organization a champion, and we're sitting here with Alan Strohshine, Denise Thomas, and Mariah Oberlander, and. I think we're going to turn over to Kendall and just have him remind you what Champion Moments is about. Thank you, Chris. Champion Moments are part of the Cheshire Medical Center's Vision 2020. Uh, the idea is to make Cheshire County the healthiest community in, in the country. And the champions are the ground troops to make that happen. They, they are the people to encourage their families, encourage their friends, encourage their coworkers, encourage their neighbors to all live healthier better lifestyles. Uh, champions have made a commitment to be responsible for their own health and for the health of the community to, to make and to spread the word throughout the community of the necessity for living a health, healthy lifestyle. Uh, we're here this morning with, with the uh, Elm City Rotary and it's the first group that, that uh, has become a champion and uh, I guess I'd like to start off by asking you why, as a group, do you want to become champions? Well, our group started this initiative because the company that I work for, True North Networks, met with Rudy and uh, Linda and talked about how we make our company healthier. And Steve Ryder and I, both being Rotarians, thought this would be a great thing to bring back to the Rotary Club and see if we could take it to a larger scale. and get our Rotary Club involved and hopefully inspire other businesses and other uh, civic organizations to also take part, become champions, and help our community become healthy. As an organization, can you talk to and actually educate our viewers? What does the Rotary do? What's their mission for this community? <clears throat> Rotary is, is the single largest service organization in the world. It's mm -hmm. an international organization. Um, we are a one club in a smaller district that spans southern New Hampshire, southern Vermont, uh, but there are tens of thousands of clubs across the world, all geared toward um, servicing not only their local communities, but uh, internationally. Um, and Rotary has an international perspective. We focus locally first, uh, but we also have, we just had a group come back from El Salvador. We have a group down in El Salvador now, so mm -hmm. we have our kind of feet in, in two separate areas from a service standpoint. Um, the motto of service above self is something that we uh, we say a lot and uh, we try to live by. Um, and, and doing collect collectively business leaders in our or in our community, getting together to, f to identify needs and try to solve uh, problems within our local community as well as abroad. Membership is made up of I mean, qualification. I mean, is there anything? It's you. Members are invited to join Rotary mm -hmm. from current Rotarians. They are usually, uh, but not exclusively, um, hold some type of uh, business leadership uh, role in the community, mm -hmm. uh, have some business tie, um, have a general opportunity and an interest in, in serving something beyond their themselves and, and their own businesses. Um, but beyond that, there's not a lot of uh, specific qualifications other than the willingness to join and the willingness to serve. When, when did the Elm City Rotary become a uh, a uh, champion? I want to say it was back. Yeah, it was in your kickoff? Yeah, in October. October. In October. Back in the kickoff yeah. in October. Yeah. Yep. And we we saw it as a way to to collectively um, join up the the hospital's vision to become the healthiest community and serve a leadership role um, in that effort mm -hmm. and and try to export it out to not just our own group but um, all the different. Uh, touch points we have throughout the community. How do you see yourself role modeling this in the community so people are aware of what you're doing as an organization? Oh gosh, we take it out to family, we take it out... Mm -hmm. I think it's friends too, we, yeah. we let friends know what we're doing. Um, we invite friends to come along with us, it's family, a lot of stuff that we do is family. We encourage people to I think one of the greatest things is the American on the Move thing that, that you've started, which you'll talk about, um, where people are then tracking their events, um, getting their family involved, 
and finding that they're out there doing more and living healthier lifestyles just because they have camaraderie. You, so. you also have a program called Interact, mm -hmm. which is at high schools, um, what I know of is Keene, Monadnock, and Conville. And um, are you associated with one of those and the other ones, or are you both with Keene and Monadnock? Or? No, we, uh, this club sponsors the Monadnock Interact Club, right. where the Keene Rotary Club sponsors the Keene High School Interact Club. Okay. Uh, but we collaborate on our project in El Salvador uh, and have done some other things together, but uh, we, we are tied to the group out of Monadnock. How do you bring the champions feeling and, and, and commitment that you've brought to yourself and your, your organization to the Interact group? We're probably still in the infancy stages of that. We're still trying to get our arms around our own organization here and mm -hmm. getting everybody on board here. Um, mm -hmm. So we, we haven't necessarily exported it to them other than how we model our own behaviors um, from a wellness standpoint, from an exercise standpoint. Um, and they see what we're doing, but I don't think we've, we've gotten to the point where we've really folded them into, the, mm -hmm. into that um, movement fully yet. In, in, addition, in addition to the organization, in addition to the Elm City Rotary being a, a champion, many of you are as individuals champions as well, aren't you? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and you see a lot, lot of uh, cross-pollination, if you will, a lot of interrelationship between the, both the, what you're doing for the organization as well as what you do individually. Yeah, if I happen to wear my pin or if, if the subject comes up of the Division 2020 it's an opportunity to educate other people in the community and kind of get a flywheel momentum building where people are educated on what the vision is, uh, what it means, and how they can individually participate uh, to become a part of it.